Well, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm from Group Five, and for the first, I'd like to introduce our team. Uh, I'm Talyana as moderator, and Istiana Salma as the first speaker. Ida Kurniawati as the second speaker. Yani as the third speaker, and Saputra as the fourth speaker, and Siti Jumri as the speaker and what speaker is me Miftah Jenna. well uh, to move to the, our material and the first is Istiana Salma to present our material uh, Istiana Salma times yours Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone uh, First let me say thanks to the moderator who has given me Thanks to speak here. Then, my name is Istiana Salma. I'm the second. I'm sorry. I'm the first speaker, and I will present the material. My material is about some basic principles of language learning. Nah, the first one. Is a second language learning is developmental process. So it means that learners use their existing knowledge to make new information comprehensible. Jadi maksudnya di sini adalah um, learners itu menggunakan uh, pengetahuan yang telah mereka miliki untuk um, membuat uh, informasi baru itu komprehensif. Nah, kemudian yang kedua adalah uh, second language learning or language learning is an active process. So it is not enough for students to only have uh, knowledge to make things meaningful. But the most important thing is how they use the knowledge jadi yang ini tidak cukup untuk learners hanya memiliki hmm, what is it knowledge but uh, how they bagaimana mereka menggunakan knowledge tersebut kemudian yang ketiga adalah language learning is decision making process so here it means that uh, in the classroom teacher uh, selalu membuat uh, apa, what is decision all decisions but uh, harus uh, teachers juga harus um, membuat uh, sesuatu to Eh, saat membuat decision um, teacher juga harus memperhatikan how to avoid mistake or, or how to avoid an error right I think uh, that is all of my presentation thank you so much wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, let's move to the next speaker Ida Kurniawati as the second speaker. Ida Kurniawati, time is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for the opportunity that has been given to me. I, Ida Kurniawati, as the second speaker, will continue the material that has been started, uh, but directly related to the material, some basic principle of language learning. Will, uh, which will underpin a learning certain methodology. Just the first one, namely, is language learning is not just a matter of linguistic knowledge. Uh, the most fundamental problem of second language learning is the uh, mismatch between the learning conceptual or cognitive capabilities and the learner's linguistic level 
The five is language. Language learning is not the learner's first experience with a language. Every second language learner learner is already communicatively complement competent in one language. They do not uh, know it the specific forms, word or possibility some of the target some of the target language, but they know uh, what communication is and how it is used. And then the sixth is learning is a emotional experience. Our consent should be should be the develop the positive emotions as opposite to the negative honest by. Uh, for example, fluent attitude as much as aptitude and ability. Uh, number seven is language learning is to a large large extent indicate incidental we can learn a language incidentally uh, while you are actually talking about some details and the last language learning is not systematic laying our information is in a systematic way will not uh, guarantee learning I think that's all for me uh, less and more please forgive me and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you ok next speaker Petriani times is yours bismillahirrahmanirrahim assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Peter Rani last time book 1902 now I wanna explain for you uh, my material my material is analysis methodology the first material is gifts. There are uh, many types of gifts which can be exploited. Uh, the uh, exploited uh, information gifts, media gifts, uh, reasoning gifts, memory gifts, uh, jigsaw gifts, opinion gifts, and curtain gifts. Okay, the second is variety. Uh, the speech of learning in order to get the repetition, repetition necessary to help a learning. There must be a variety to keep the mind all. Variety can be uh, can be achieved in a number of ways. Variety of medium, variety of classroom, variety of a learning variety of exercise activity or test uh, variety of skill variety of topic and the last variety of focus okay three prediction prediction is a matter of asking an extensive knowledge of a pattern or system in order to activate it what is likely in a novel situation for uh, enjoyment enjoyment isn't and an added extra and uh, un- unnecessary 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 feel it is the simplest of all way of all ways of uh, gain the learner the learner's mean and five and five and integrate methodology I think a range of skill greatly in, greatly increase the range of activity possible in the classroom this make it easier to receive a high degree and recling and reformer while maintaining the learner's internet. 6. Uh, coherence um, 
meat steak, so boil on perfect steak and lead naturally into the flowing steak. Six is seven is preparation. Listen, preparation is normally a interpret as the teacher of planning the steak or the state of the lesson and eight and uh, involvement learning need to be involvement both uh, cognitively and emotionally in the lesson nine is a uh, creativity creativity language is a dynamic lesson so uh reflect this and the last is atmosphere atmosphere for all that we and I could try to analyze and systematics the teaching we must still organize recognize recognize uh, the uh af- affective the effective learning defense a heavily on uh, untable a factor such as the relationship uh, between teacher and student okay thank you very much uh, i think uh, not for me wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh next uh, samudra times yours wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you for the opportunity given by the moderator and i will introduce myself my name is putra you can call me putra and i am from group 5 and i will give uh, a question about the material that has been described by my friends baik di sini saya komentasikan kesimpulan dari penjelasan teman-teman saya pertama sebelum kita tutup bab ini Menegaskan kembali dua hal yang sangat penting. Hal apa saja itu? Yang pertama di sini ada nothing specific about the ESP methodology. Artinya tidak ada yang spesifik tentang metodologi. Metodologi prinsip-prinsip yang mendasari metodologi is yang baik adalah sama dengan prinsip-prinsip yang mendasari metodologi ELP pada umumnya. Demikian pula pada tingkat teknis kita dapat belajar banyak. Siswa yang telah datang ke ISP dari general analis tidak perlu berpikir why bahwa metodologi baru harus dipelajari keterampilan dan teknik yang diperoleh dari mengajar bahasa Inggris secara umum dapat berguna dalam kelas ISP number two what happen what happen in class is not just apa yang terjadi di dalam kelas hanya pikiran yang ketinggalan yang harus dicengkokkan pada bahan dan suku kata yang sudah dibuat classroom activity show provide kegiatan kelas hendaknya memberikan pembali kepada semua tahap lain dalam desain baik mungkin saya tadi for the 
the specification of learning objective makes no mention uh, at, at all of how uh, this objective might be a uh, test but uh, Alderson and Waters 1983 say maintain uh, that the lack of importance assigned to evaluation can be attitude can be attribute to pervasive uh, again testing among uh, applied linguists and other language other language uh, teaching uh, practitioners but, okay well uh, guys uh, in a, in ESP there are three basic types of assessment well uh, the first about Uh, to their needs. The placement test normally comes at the beginning of the course. Well, um, placement test atau test penempatan atau test permulaan test ini uh, biasanya dilakukan ketika uh, awal atau sebelum dilakukan course atau kursus. Uh, test ini dilakukan untuk uh, mengetahui sejauh mana pengetahuan para pelajar pengetahuan para pelajar tentang apa itu ESP well uh, the second about achievement test this test uh, how will the learner is keep there is uh, keeping up uh, there is keeping up with the syllabus and can ad, can be administrative uh, can be administrate administrate uh, anytime throughout the course well um, kedua yaitu achievement test atau uh, tes prestasi tes ini biasanya uh, dilakukan untuk menguji seberapa baik para pelajar mengikuti pembelajaran mengikuti uh, silabus dan bagaimana para pelajar ini dapat mengelola apa saja yang telah mereka pelajari selama uh, kursus ini dilakukan well and the last uh, about proficiency test well uh, proficiency test uh, this assess uh, whether or not the student can help um, with the demands of a particular situation uh, for example study uh, university or reading technical manuals nah yang terakhir tes yang terakhir yaitu tes kecakapan nah dalam tes kecakapan ini uh, kita di kita dituntut untuk menilai bagaimana uh, para pelajar ini uh, dapat memenuhi atau tidak uh, tuntutan situasi 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 tertentu yang mereka hadapi selama uh, proses belajar mengajar seperti contohnya ketika mereka akan mengikuti proses belajar mengajar uh, di universitas atau belajar membaca menggunakan teknik manual well uh, i think enough uh, i'm turn back to moderator assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh it was a material uh, present uh, by me my material is a course evaluation